We begin with a major revelation tonight in the story that's captured the attention of Southern Colorado for weeks. Four District 20 teachers are now apologizing for directing middle schoolers to tape their masks to their faces. The just concluded investigation all started with this photo of a Chinook Trail middle school girl with a mask taped to her face. Cardio News Channel 13's Mallory Anderson sat down with the mother of this girl who says she's not happy with the investigation's outcome. Mallory. Barton Heather, this mother says she strongly believes that what those teachers did was child abuse, claiming they abused their power over minors. But the district is pushing back, saying that while that directive was disappointing from the teachers, it was never done with malicious intent. A three week investigation into why the student's mask was taped to her face, concluding with some difficult findings. District 20 now confirms that teachers did not physically tape masks to students faces, but they did instruct students to do so. Tonight, harsh words from the child's mother who thinks those four teachers should never work with kids again. I do hope that those teachers eventually get fired, definitely, um, because to me what they did was child abuse. They abused their authority over those minors in their care. And even the principal said that during the investigation, those students said that they felt like they were they had to put the tape on. Though the school will not reveal what sort of disciplinary action has been taken against the teachers, an apology letter from the educators to the community was released today, saying, quote, it was never our intent to cause anxiety, fear, confusion, or physical or emotional harm. Our greatest desire was to keep students in our classrooms and prevent quarantines due to COVID exposure. Now, what we did find is that students felt that they were instructed to use tape to keep that face mask on their face and that they did feel that that was something that they had to do, that they couldn't not do that. So those were the two pieces of the findings that we were a little disappointed in, um, but it was it was good to know that they had never actually been taped to the faces, but we did find out it was a directive. For Stephanie and her family, none of this is enough. She's now pulling her child out of Chinook Middle School. So when I learned that they would be returning to work today in the morning for a meeting and whatnot, um, I let him know that I would be withdrawing her and she would be doing a Colorado approved online schooling. Stephanie says she still plans to have someone represent her at all school board meetings from now on. Reporting at the D20 headquarters in Colorado Springs, I'm Mallory Anderson, KRDO News Channel 13.